Howdy campers and welcome to your third React tutorial and in this video we're going to create our very first React component. Woohoo! Okay, so just quickly, components. Most of our React code comprises of components. For example, we could have a search bar component for the search bar on our website or a sign up component for the sign up form or we could have a to-do list component. And components can also nest other components within them. For example, our to-do list component could have a list item component for each individual item on the list. Or we could have a form at the bottom where you add a new one and we'd have a component for that form, etc. So we're going to create a very simple component in this tutorial and then expand it as we go along. Okay, so hopefully like me, you created that webpack.config file, installed everything in the last tutorial and you're where I'm up to now. So I've already run the start script by saying npm start in cmd here. So you do that as well. Then we can look at this in a browser when we've done it. And at the minute, our entry file, this index.js file, just has this alert. But instead, we're going to get rid of this and create our very first component. So the first thing we need to do when we're creating a component is require React. And we can do that two ways. We can either use ES6 imports or we can just use the simple require statement. I'm just going to use the simple require statement for now. So I'm going to say var react equals require and uh, the module we want to require is called react and we can do this because we installed react before using npm. We said npm install react. We also installed react dom and we're going to need that as well. So I'll say var react dom equals require and this time we want react hyphen dom. So now we can use both of those in this file right here. Okay, so now let's create a component. Now, let me just write a little comment here, create component so we know what we're doing. There's two ways of doing this. We can either use ES6 or we can use the React way of doing it. Now, I'm going to do the React way of doing it in this tutorial, in the whole series in fact, and then at the end what I'll do is a quick lesson on how we would refactor this to use ES6 classes instead, okay? So we're going to concentrate on the react create class method. So let's create a component. The way we do this is give it a variable name first of all. Now we're going to create a to do application. So I'm going to call this the to do component. And notice it's capital and it's also capital letter for each new word. That's just like a convention that we're going to use. So to do component and then we set this equal to react, which is this thing right here that we required dot create class. So this is how we create a component. We're just creating a React class, if you like. And then inside this, we pass an object. And this object contains everything to do with our component. So let's open it up. And inside this object, we can have a variety of different methods, etc., that we can use. Now, the only one required method is the render method. And this render method is going to be a function which returns some HTML code. So this HTML code is going to be inserted into our HTML document when we tell React to insert this component there. Okay, so let's create that render method. We'll say render, and this is a function, like so. And then inside this function, what we want to do is return some code. Now, if we're just doing one line of HTML code, you can just do it in the same line. However, I always think it's good practice to do some brackets like that, and then we can enter them down and write all of our HTML code in here. Now, this is JSX in action because we wouldn't normally write HTML code in JavaScript. That's a bit weird, but JSX allows us to do this. It's really cool. So we can do something like this, H1, and say, hello, and close that off. And this is absolutely fine. This is JSX in action. So if I save this now, then what I'm going to do is show you a little trick. You see how this at the minute doesn't particularly look like HTML code. If we go into here, this is how our HTML is being formatted here with the red um, kind of text, if you like. In here, it's not like that. So I've noticed in Atom, what I do is just cross it off, reopen it up, and now it works. All right. So that there is our component, just a dead simple component, which is a H1, right? Now, what if I want to render this component in the index file? What if I want to grab this component and put it in this index file? Well, I can do that, but I need a placeholder in this index file for it to go. 
So what I'm going to do is create a div. So just a simple div with an ID. And this ID is going to be to do hyphen wrapper. So our to do component is going to go inside this thing right here. So let's save that now. And then we also need to tell React to insert this component in that wrapper. And that's where this React DOM component comes in, or React DOM um, module, if you like. So down here, what I'm going to do is say put component into HTML page. So the way we do this is by saying React DOM, that's this thing we required, dot render. And then we need to say what we want to render. Now we want to render this component, but we don't just write the text in, we write it in as a HTML tag. So we're going to open my angle bracket, paste the name in, and then do a closing, self-closing bracket if you like, the forward slash, then that thing. So that's going to render this component now in the DOM. But we also need to say where we want to render it. We want to render it inside this to-do wrapper. So to do that, I'm going to do a little comma, and I'm going to say document dot get element by ID. This is just normal JavaScript. And then inside here, I'm going to say to do wrapper. So that's going to look for that element and place this component inside it. So let's give that a save now and check it out in a browser. So I didn't need to refresh. This is the inline and hot reloading in action. It's automatically refreshed when I click save. And in fact, if I change this just to ninjas and save it, then we're going to see this reload over here. Okay, pretty cool, right? So now we've created a very simple component using React and we've input that component into the index file within this wrapper where we said we wanted to render it. So what's the important things to take away? First of all, we need to require React and the React DOM. Then we created a component by saying a variable is equal to uh, react.createClass. This takes an object. And in this object, we can pass through several different methods. The only one required method is the render method. This is a function which is going to return some JSX or HTML, if you like, inside these brackets. Then if we want to render this component to the DOM, we say react dom.render. We say which component we want to render inside it, HTML um, tag, if you like. And we say where we want to render it in the page. Pretty simple, right? And that works. And by the way, this JSX, this is just like JavaScript saying document.createElement or something like that behind the scenes. That is what's going on. So this is a really simple way to create HTML to dump in the HTML file when we require it. So there's our first component, dead simple. In the next tutorial, we're going to take this one step further. So I'll see you guys then.